Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can repair your uh, uh, Logitech MX Master 2S uh, when uh, every button is working but the cursor is moving. Without further ado, let's get into it. Before to show you how to fix the problem, let's ensure that uh, we are both facing the same issue. So, um, as you can see, I'm now moving the mouse, but the pointer on the screen is not moving. However, my vertical scroll wheel works, uh, my horizontal scroll wheel works as well, and my click, uh, let me, okay, now I can click the subscribe, yes, and also my right click, it works. The middle click here won't do anything, so I cannot really show you that. Uh, and the fan button is not working anymore. Uh, it doesn't click anymore as it used to be. Um, so the way I actually find out about the solution is because uh, I think it's been like two weeks before two weeks before uh, the pointers stopped. Um, I was noticing that while using the mouse regularly uh, it, the screen was showing the application screen okay which is one of the gesture uh, control that is given for the thumb you know it was like click drag up or down whatever and it's giving you that kind of screen so i went around the problem by deactivating uh, the let me now use the other mouse which is next to me um, so on the Logi option, I basically uh, selected the mouse and as you can see here, the thumb button is set to known. So that was the, the way for me to actually, um, um, how to say, uh, solve the problem. Uh, and that's also because anyway, I haven't ever used the thumb button. I have only tested it two years ago when I bought the device, but really I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not a user of it. Actually, let me know in the comment below if uh, uh, if you like the idea of the thumb button or not. Okay, so now I will show you how to fix the problem. For this project, you will need a little bit of tools. Uh, mainly, you will need... Uh, um, let's start with uh, a cutter so that you can uh, uh, pry the adhesive beneath and small tiny screwdriver I'll just pick up a flat head I will show you later on what this is for the rest I will leave it aside and also a small opening pry tool sometimes it comes loose without big problems and then I have over here my wow stick which is an electric driver as well as additional two bits so you will need in total three bits one is a torque t5 one is uh, Philips H0 and the other one is uh, a very tiny uh, flat head screwdriver in reality you will need a cross but uh, this is the only one that could fit in the um, cross screw that I will show you okay so so you will need to remove these two uh, T5 screws. I'll use my electric uh, screwdriver to do this. Okay. This board comes very handy when you have to do these kind of things. So you can actually put the things aside. So uh, the reason for the cutter is to rise up a little bit these pads on the bottom. So what I did the first time is to basically start from the corner is easy. Now, obviously for me, it will come easy because I did it already once. So once you're over here, let me just change my bit. Once you're here, just remove the... You don't need to remove entirely, you can leave them a little bit like this. Okay. Also here, same story. If you can avoid overbending the pad, will basically then stick back without any means of adhesive. Okay, same thing over here. Okay, 
Then same thing over here. Okay. Okay, so now you can open this up. If you see, okay, it came loose this time, but if you see that it doesn't come loose, you can use the small uh, opening pry tool. So once you open this up, be very careful because some part of the circuitry is in the uh, other side of the shell of the mouse, so you don't want to stress the cable. So you can just put this slightly on side. All we care about is this small circuit here which actually is just holding the uh, bottom in place so I don't know if I can render it so there is a tiny tiny button there okay if I can render button there anyway so all you need to do really is to loosen up just a little bit these two uh, black crossed screw now to do that I would highly suggest you not to use any electric uh, stuff so I will go with the classic hand one, manual one so just let's say half turn from both sides until you can you can hear the click once again and you can actually you can also visually see the click then if I can render alright now before to um, close it I would highly recommend you uh, testing it out so just power it up select the computer that you are connected to and then test it out. I already know that it's going to work so I will show you that it's working once we are done with the screw. So now we can um, now we can basically put everything back and the mouse is ready to go for hopefully another two years. So let me power this up. Number one is selected and as you can see guys I'm now working and also my thumb button is working and if I actually let me get rid of this um, if I actually reactivate this just to show you now you can see that uh, well I don't know how to use that neither because as I told you I don't like it but yes it's basically working so if you're interested uh, in the gesture button uh, be aware that uh, that's going to work once again all right and luckily for us that was an easy fix and now our mouse is once again fully functional and we can use the cursor as well as the thumb button if you are using it I hope you found this video helpful, if you liked it click the thumb up button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ciao for now!